our assembly now is ready defined with the constraint and the contacts so it's time to make a presentation file or the explode view file so it is an important for presentation and showing the part engaged in your assembly so first let's save this assembly and now when you start a new explode view it's called a presentation so when you go to the new presentation type file so it's quite is not familiar with other CAD software to make an, a separated file but it is okay presentation and when you click on the presentation create a view then you need to select your assembly so here it is already selected then okay so we have opened our assembly in a presentation file so it is not to mix the assembly with the presentation so you can have your spread presentation file without changing anything in your assembly so now let's try to explode the view or spread the parts so here you click on tweak components so here you see the direction component trail origin and so on so on here you have the split trails let's first select the direction so if you hover over face you will see the coordinates directions so let's choose this edge so now you have the direction where you are able to move your components so if you select this component you'll be able to move them in this direction so let's click this component move it into set direction so now we move that part again when you are done with the move click clear to make a new set of movement so select direction so you can choose the direction this edge and select this component so you are able to move it in the set we are done close so now you created an exploded view for your parts and also you are able to re-edit the parts by double click and add a distance enter close also you have this drag in out So this is the exploded view and parts included in your assembly.